Well, it's squid fishing time, and a couple of times each year I like to target squid for a couple of reasons. One is that I absolutely love to eat squid, and the other is that I find it a huge amount of fun. And it just makes a change from your, from your normal fishing. Right, so that's what we're doing, just heading out, and it's a bit foggy this morning, but it's actually okay. There's, there's plenty of visibility from a safety point of view. So hopefully I'll be able to catch a one or two squid, or one, one uh, reasonable sized squid will do, but we'll, we'll see how we do. Right, I'm ready to start. Now I've done some a couple of squid fishing videos in the past where I've gone into detail about the squid fishing. And I'll pop, get those to come up, pop up on the screen as this video is playing. But basically what I'm doing, I'm squid fishing in deep water. It could be up to 100 feet of water. So the fishing is all vertical fishing. No casting of the squid jigs. So what I've got here is three squid jigs which are on standoff loops, three different colours. For those of you that are interested in, in colours and what colours may work best for squid fishing. So we've got pink, we've got orange and we've got green. So the idea is I'm going to lower this down to the bottom and I'm going to work these squid jigs with a, just a gentle, gentle jig. Um, close to the bottom. Now on the other side of the kayak I've got another rod which has got two squid jigs on, two pink ones, and I'm just going to lower that down to the bottom, raise it up a, a couple of turns and just leave that in the rod holder to fish itself. You can often catch them that way. Right, down we go. Now the squid fishing where I am, where I am here, can be very hit, hit and miss. It's a, you can come out some some trips and spend hours and not see a squid, and then others, and uh, and get a good good lot of squid. It's hit and miss, particularly as I'm use, I always usually do it during the day, um, or come maybe at dawn and and do it. Um, you stand more chance. If you come at night, of course, for the squid fishing, but I've had some, I've had plenty of success in the past fishing during the day, and it is deep water here, so that that makes a difference. But the, the squid, there's should be plenty of uh, reasons for the squid to come in here. There's plenty of little fish, like little whiting and other fish, for them to to prey on. So, fingers crossed, it's going to be one of those sessions where I, I at least pick one up. Well, I was just having my breakfast, trying to eat my breakfast, and uh, it looks like we've got a squid. If it is a squid, it's not a very big one, but it doesn't matter. I've got a squid. So, excuse me if you can hear me eating. I'm trying to finish that so I can talk, and it is a squid. Well, it's only one of the, the uh, small squid, the calamari size, but that's absolutely fine because these, these small ones are absolutely delicious and tender and, and brilliant for stuffing. The last video I did about squid fishing last year, I had a couple of these slightly bigger and, and stuffed them and they're beautiful st for stuffing, but they're also fantastic of course for, for squid rings. So that's brilliant, at least we haven't blanked. I always think when you it's rewarding when you set out to to just t catch a species, um, even if you only get one, that you, you you manage to get your target species. Now, talking about the squid that we get here, we get them this size, but we also get the, um, the big ones that I showed in the last video, where their mantle length can be up to th sort of 30 centimeters, and then you get the, these the more calamari size. Just to have a quick talk about these squid jigs that I'm, that I'm using, these Yozuri Crystal. They're numb weighted squid, squid jigs and when they're in the water they actually sit 
parallel, they sit horizontal like that, which is actually which is actually really good. Now they're not all luminous. They've got they've got these air chambers in there, I believe, which is supposed to um, attract the squid. But but the eye, the eye is luminous, and it glows it glows green in the dark. On the topic of colours again, so far with the four squid I've caught, I've had two on this colour, the green, and two on the pink on the on the other rod. Okay, I'm into a, a, a better sized squid now. Oh, we got it on the other rod now. See that? Oh boy, I must have, I must have just drifted over a. I think that one, the one on the left, will come off if I can't. Uh, pick up the rod you never know it, it may stay on it looks like it's 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 swum up so if it swims up it will probably come off but we'll get get this one in on the right hand side I must have uh, yeah this is this is a better sized squid I must have just drifted over a, sh a shoal of them It's still on. It's still on. Yeah, it's still on. Well, that's a bit of fun. <laughs> Two at the same time. Again, uh, a better size. Well, I'm glad I really persisted now. Um, just goes to show, as we all know with fishing, it's a, it's a patience game. How am I going to get this in? Hey, we got we got a double. Hey, my! How about that? I'm definitely got enough for a, for a meal now. Well, that was a bit of fun, though, catching those three one after the other, um, and much bigger as well. And this this one's the biggest of the three, so that's absolutely fantastic. Well, if I was doing this video as a test on which colours fish the best, then it would definitely have been pink that uh, would have won today. But in actual fact, I've always found that pink, certainly in the areas that I fish, has been the most successful colour for me, uh, followed by green and then orange. But definitely pink, uh, for me, would come out number one. That's, that's of course if it makes any any difference down there I'm fishing in 98 feet of water I mean these squid jigs uh, they're not all luminous they've got luminous eyes um, whether it actually makes any difference in deep water um, obviously I don't know but all I can say is that I always tend to fish 
for squid uh, from the kayak in deep water and it always seems to be the pink colour that seems to be the most successful. I've never caught, I've tried many many times, I've yet to catch one squid on white and I've never caught on blue. Pink, green, orange. Those are my most successful colours. Well that turned out to be a really good day in the end. I'm really pleased now. It started out just, just catching those little, those small squid, just the little calamari size, even though they are really tasty and to eat. And then that fantastic little spell I had where I caught those three, um, two in one go and then uh, and, and the other one, that was a lot of fun. So get home and sort the squid out and I'll cook one and have some have some tasty squid rings. The plan is to coat the squid rings in a light batter, shallow frying corn oil and serve with a homemade sweet chilli sauce. The sweet chilli sauce goes really well with the battered squid. The ingredients for the sweet chilli sauce are about four ounces of red chillies chopped. These are the medium red chillies, but, but if you like it hot, you could add a couple of hotter red chillies. The rest of the ingredients are six cloves of garlic, peeled and roughly sliced, three quarters of a cup of white sugar, three quarters of a cup of water, three quarters of a cup of white vinegar, one tablespoon of corn flour dissolved in a bit of water and some sea salt. Now to make the chilli sauce. First, chop up the chilli and garlic into small bits using a blender. Now add the water, vinegar, sugar, salt, chopped chilies and garlic to a pan, turn on the heat and when the sugar is dissolved, simmer on a low heat for about five minutes. After five minutes, add the corn flour and simmer for a further one to two minutes to thicken the sauce. The ingredients for the batter are 100 grams of plain flour mixed with one teaspoon of baking powder, some freshly ground black pepper and half a teaspoon of salt, all sifted into a mixing bowl along with some sparkling water to mix. Now for the squid rings, which I'm going to cook in two batches by first coating the rings in the batter, heating up about one centimetre of corn oil and dropping the rings in.
cook those for just enough time to crisp the batter, then drain the excess oil on some kitchen towel. For me, this is a real treat. At the time, the squid are available to catch, and the homemade sweet chilli sauce is well worth the effort and goes brilliantly well with the crispy fried squid rings. So once again, I hope you found that useful, and many, many thanks for watching. Yeah, it's a day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with a splash gun So I cool down Won't you come on over We can party till the sun's down Baby, let me buy you a drink While we're dancing to blink I could go for some Queen Bee too Ace is going boom